A meantime, soldiers from across the country are meeting in Cochise County for the best squad competition. KGUN 9's Alexis Ramanjulu gives us a look at what obstacles the teams have to overcome. Swimming, climbing, and crawling. That was Tuesday morning's task for the 10 teams competing in the U.S. Army Training and Doctrine Command best squad competition. It's been physically exhausting and mentally exhausting for the last eight to nine days. The teams compete in two to three tasks a day that test their physical and mental abilities. They are going to go through 30 graded tasks. So they're very relevant to the modern warfighter and they're relevant to the future of warfighting functions. Staff Sergeant Austin Sims is the team leader for the U.S. Army Intelligence Center of Excellence on Fort Huachuca. He says his team has trained daily for the competition on their home turf. I'm very proud of each and every one of my squad members. They're giving it their all and nothing less, and I'm very proud of them for that. For Sims and his team, this competition has some added pressure because they are on their home base, giving them a slight advantage. It means a lot, mainly because uh, we want to represent the intel community as a whole. We're very happy to be here and we're happy to represent. The best squad title will be given to the team with the highest score tomorrow. The winner will represent Tradoc at the Army-wide competition in September. Alexis Ramanjulu, Kega 9.